Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Tyra. Today we're gonna hop right into the video. We're doing a braid and curl today. This is my first time doing one and I'm using part of my first products. I'm using the curling hissing cream, the mousse, and the oil. And of course, this style includes perm rods. So we're gonna be messing with those today. You guys always ask me where I get that mirror from. It comes from Amazon and is linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. I shot off from Freshly Wash Hair and I'll always show you guys what I use for wash day. I recently got these two products in PR and it's the Red Consistetic Bunning Curls and Shampoo. If you wanna see a review, you about that head to my instagram and follow multi four hair on instagram and tiktok to see more about that i'm starting off by parting my hair in three equal parts you know because it's a lot easier to maneuver and then i go ahead and get right into just braiding honestly this style is very easy it's literally just the plait i apply the curl enhancing cream throughout the braid and then once i get towards the bottom of the braid i apply the mousse and i detangle the ends so that the ends are not obviously like tangled and then I do the perm rod paper and the perm rod, and I just perm rod the ends up. Um, this style is probably one of the most easiest styles I've ever done. And for me not to have done this, I'm just really surprised because this is a very, very easy style. And I'm really just trying to get more into trying different house styles for the summer. Here are the first three done. I think they look pretty good, and I do this literally a million more times. I don't really have anything to say right now in regards to these products, but I do have a little update for you guys towards the end because as I'm filming this video or doing the voiceover for this video, it's been a week since I had this, um, these products in my hair and I will be able to give you guys like a solid review about them once I'm done. Um, until then, I'm going to just let you guys watch and I'm going to check in with you guys once it's time to actually take down the perm rod, sit in the dryer, etc. But I'll just let you guys watch. Again, this is for my slow learners. Um, I know some, some people just need time to actually just watch someone do something over and over in order for them to pick it up. And I'm like that myself. So enjoy. Take notes. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I will meet, I, meet you guys again towards the end when it's time to take them down or sit in the dryer.
Okay guys, so we are back and I'm putting the mousse all over my braids just so I can go ahead and set the braids in case there are any flyaways or anything just sticking up. Um, I put the mousse in my braids and I'm going to go ahead and sit under the dryer and let those uh, braids kind of just melt in the mousse. Or I guess the mousse melt into the braids. I sat in the dryer for a minute and oh my gosh, you guys, I sat in the dryer for, it felt like for so long, but I did move a whole bunch. But it felt like I had to keep going under there because the ends weren't dry enough. Once I finally got the ends to dry, I'm going ahead and taking them, all of them down. And I must say that I thoroughly enjoy the way my hair looked during this process because I've, once again, I've never done this style before and it was pretty easy. So if you are a type 4 natural like myself and you are interested in trying new styles and we have similarly, similarly, um, what am I saying? We have similar lengths. I would definitely try this style if I were you. Um, I really enjoyed it and I, styles like this makes me want to tap into more hairstyles in general because you guys know like, I honestly stick to the basics and do like styles that I've always done my whole life, but I'm getting more into trying new things. Um, I would definitely say this style is very beginner to medium friendly. The only reason why I say medium, because if you don't really know how to apply a perm rod, that's going to be your biggest struggle, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty cool. Um, I will say I've had this style in my hair for about a week now and even though my hair looks really good on camera, I don't know whether I had used too much oil when I was taking my hair down or I the product itself are a little heavy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But my hair was very greasy throughout the week. Like greasy to the point every time I touched my hair, it just felt greasy. Now that could have been user error. I could have just put too much of this oil that you're about to see here in my hair when I was taking them down. Maybe that was the reason, but my hair, I've never just been so oily. Like I don't naturally have oily hair unless it's like really dirty and there's product build up. But my hair is really oily. And actually, as you're watching this, I am washing my hair today and doing a new style. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, my hair is really oil, oily and I couldn't tell why, so I'm not going to blame it on the products, but I will say that if you do experience that, if you go and try these products, I knew I wasn't tripping. Now, you guys know I'm going to always keep it a buck with you guys and be very honest about any product review that I try. Me personally, there was nothing that just stood out about these products that are just so revolutionary-wise, changed my hair care or my styling. I really feel like you can accomplish a style like this with any uh, decent or uh, quality cream or mousse. Um, these products are a little pricey, be mindful of that. They were like $14 a piece at Walmart. However, my hair looks amazing. I just feel like you can accomplish this style with a cheaper creamer mousse oil. But yeah, that's my review of part of my fro. See you guys for another video soon. Bye.